Wow, I look like a crazy person. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be coloring my hair again. But what color am I going to do? Well, Avengers just came out, so in honor of Avengers Endgame, I think there's only one color that it really should be. You guessed it. Purple. Dark purple. Just the blonde, not my whole head, because I can't... I can't do that. I cannot dye my whole head another color. I will freak. But I can do purple on the end because I've never had like blonde, blonde hair. And I was always like, blondes have been so lucky. They can do whatever color they want. It's not that simple, but you know what I mean. I have blonde hair now so I can color it. And I'm doing it by myself this time. So hopefully nothing goes drastically wrong. Okay, so as you can see, I said it's a little bit crazy because I did um, purple shampoo on the blonde first to lighten it. By the way, I don't actually usually know how to do any of these things. My amazing amazing cousin Gracie always is telling me how to do these things. I don't think I could do any of it without her help because she's amazing. Look at she sent me gloves last time, like multiple pairs. I'm good to go. I saw Endgame the other day. Um, I saw it on Friday actually and I would love to talk about what I thought and the things I have to say about it. Um, if you want to see a video that includes spoilers, um, comment below and I'll make one talking about what I thought, things that I liked, and all that jazz. Um, what I will say, my spoiler free review is that it um, does not disappoint. Probably one of the best movies I feel like I've ever seen, especially in context, and it's just amazing that they were able to, like, the Russo brothers are incredible, first off, their, like, vision is I would just like to sit and talk with them about like how they make the decisions they do. This was not smart to do these gloves. I can't. This is the purple, by the way. You really, you really can't tell, but it looks nice. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, so I would say that the movie was extremely satisfying is a good word for it. Like my brother coined the phrase. He was like, you know, I was so happy with it. I, I was so satisfied that I didn't feel like I needed to cry. And I mean, I didn't agree because naturally I cried, but it was just, go see the movie. Whoop. This is wild. Oh. So, this will be the first time I do like my own. And I don't know, we're gonna figure it out as we go. I'm a sucker for all the subliminal things. I don't know how much I need. All right, that's a lot. It's so dark. I'm afraid. Also, can we talk about the new Star Wars trailer? What's up with that? This sounds terrible, but I'm, I'm ready for the trilogy to be over. I just, I don't, I'm not looking forward to all of these mini series that are planning to come out based on like, even Marvel. I just don't, I think it cheapens the movies. And of course I'll probably watch them and be like, whoa, this is awesome. I, I, I'm a sucker for you. All right, well, here we go. Probably a mirror. When it comes to like miniseries, I wouldn't complain about um, being cast in one. So, you know, I think they're an interesting idea. Oh, please don't let me live miss. Oh, please don't let me miss any hair. It's true, I'm a sucker for you. I'm frightened. Ah! Ooh, look at her. I'm a sucker for you. Ooh, ooh, it smells good. She said make sure I really, really saturate all of the blonde. So, gotta make sure I get it all in there. Sucker for you. Also, some exciting news. I don't know if I've talked about it, but I've been training for a 5K. Um, I'm gonna run the first inaugural, an, an, inaugural, inaugural, wow, English. The first ever inaugural, <laughs> I can't say, you know what I mean. It's their first ever 5K that they're doing at Universal and it's like gonna be um, all through the back lot and oh, oh, in the park. And I'm, I'm genuinely excited to see how it goes because I think that sounds like a good time. No, get, get out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm stressed. There's no going back now. See, I always get really, really anxious when I color my hair, but after like the first couple, <laughs> the first couple things, 
um, happen, then I automatically feel better. Cause I'm like, okay, well, we've got to do it now. I'm actually like really, really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. I'm really, really excited, guys. Oh, I got my ear. My roommates are currently in class, and they're gonna get home and hear me talking to myself and be like, Ah, Jordan's at it again. What are we gonna do with her? So the dye is all on my hair, um, and I'm going to set a timer and catch up on Riverdale, and that's how that's going to go. I also probably should clean up. I uh, was cleaning up, and I made the discovery that if it gets on my hands, it's probably not going to come off. <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, that was so loud. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. I'm going to go wash my hair, and because I don't feel like doing it in the sink, I'm just gonna go ahead and shower. My hair is rinsed, and it just looks really dark on camera, but I'm gonna blow dry, and hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more of the purple. Whoa! It's so purple! <laughs> oh, I'm excited about this. I think I'm gonna curl it, and then that will be the final product, but look, it is so purple! Ah! Okay, so now here's my hair, all styled, and I, it doesn't do it justice on camera, but you can see it in person. <laughs> you are making eyes at me! She always is <laughs> <laughs> giving me crap for vlogging! Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, it was just an interesting one today, but yes, we went purple in honor of Avengers Endgame. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love you 3,000 lovelies. Bye!